you very much, Mr. Chairman. I'm ple pleased to join with you in welcoming our witnesses here today as we consider the viability of the Civil Reserve Air Fleet uh, Program. The Civil Reserve Air Fleet Program is a voluntary contractual arrangement between the Department of Defense and privately owned and operated U.S. airlines. In order to support the mobilization of troops and equipment during times of need, U.S. Airlines voluntarily provides standby commitments of aircraft and crews. In return, the Defense Department provides incentives through the Civil Reserve uh, Air Fleet uh, uh, peace, uh, time, uh, program peacetime business. The idea is simple, and the program is and has been uh, very uh, successful. Uh, the Civil Reserve Air Fleet program was created by President Harry Truman back in 1951, and in 1987, President Reagan affirmed its importance. Civil Reserve Air Fleet program has been activated only twice since its inception. However, since 9-11, Department of Defense has become increasingly reliant on the peacetime provisions of airlift by the Civil Reserve Air Fleet program air carriers. As we all know, the aviation industry is constantly changing, the market changes, and the industry uh, reacts. The volatile fuel prices, shrinking credit markets, growing debt and pension obligations, and the impact of the current global recession on air travel have impacted the airline industry in numerous ways. U.S. passenger airline industry lost $4.3 billion in the first three quarters of uh, last year. Demand for commercial passenger charter flights has dwindled. At the same time, U.S. airlines have reduced domestic capacity by 9% from 2007 to 2008, and airlines have also reduced active fleet aircraft by some 18%. The question is, how have these changes in the airline industry impacted the Civil Reserve Air Fleet program? I'm interested in the status of the program in light of the dramatic changes in the marketplace. As General McNabb states in his written testimony, a robust commercial air industry is vital for our national defense. Also interested in learning from today's witnesses what changes or improvements they believe will help the continued viability of the Civil Reserve Air Fleet uh, uh, program. The Civil Reserve Air Fleet program is a great example of a public-private partnership. It's seen us through 58 years and numerous crises. Its success should be applauded and learned from. And if we can improve this already successful program, then we need to know what uh, can be done. So I thank all of our witnesses for appearing before the subcommittee today to share your points of view and look forward to your testimony.